Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're gonna to talk about cell phone plans. What if you can get a plan that had unlimited data, no speed caps, no data caps, included also unlimited hotspot capabilities and was contract free? Do I have your attention? What if it was $40, all included, no additional fees? You're gonna to wanna to watch this video, aren't you? Well, what if I also told you it was built on Verizon's high-speed network? Now I got your attention. Well, today we're gonna to talk about the visible plan. So let's check it out. Now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and test the visible plan. I have a Google Pixel 3 XL that I'm gonna insert this in. We're gonna take a look at their hotspot capabilities. We're gonna look at the overall data performance. We're gonna make some phone calls. And I'm gonna give you what my experience has been with the visible plan. Now, I hope that this is gonna help you with your purchasing decision because at $40, at $40, and operating on the Verizon data network, I think this is a great value. But we have to test it. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now at the time of this recording, there are several promotions available. As you can see here, there's a $200 prepaid MasterCard uh, that will be given to you if you switch over to this uh, plan. Now keep in mind that you're looking at $40 all in. You're also looking at contract free. It's unlimited everything. So that means unlimited data, unlimited talk, unlimited text, you're not looking at any data caps whatsoever or any speed caps either. So there's no speed caps and that's really important. And that's just something uh, brand new that they changed on the plan. Uh, again, the same kind of coverage that you would expect from Verizon. And keep in mind with this, we're gonna go into this uh, coverage map so we can see that in a second. You're looking at primarily a US centric plan. So uh, it doesn't cover Mexico or Canada, but you're looking at all over the US. So if you're in the US and you're looking for an affordable plan, that has, again, the best uh, carrier network, then this is gonna be one that will work for you. And remember, we're also looking at LTE speeds here. Now, you do have the mobile hotspot included, as I mentioned, and you also have no contract. So that's the big piece. Uh, they do support Wi-Fi dialing, and the experience is pretty simple. I'll describe mine for a second. Uh, all I did was I went onto their website, I registered, I put in my uh, my card how I'm gonna be, make the payments, and then a few days later, I received in the mail, I received uh, this SIM. So as you take a look at this, is the little package I received, and in this package, you get a couple things. You can see how this opens up. You get a SIM card, a SIM ejector, and all I'm gonna do now is put it into my Pixel 3a XL. Now, part of the enrollment process is you have a couple choices. You can either buy a phone or you can bring your own. And during that enrollment process, you do input your IMEI so that you can determine if the phone is compatible with the network. In this case, the Google Pixel 3a XL has no problem. So I've got my SIM and now I'm gonna put it in the phone. Now, as we take a closer look at the SIM, the SIM does support multiple phone types and it's one of those SIM cards that you can uh, kind of reduce in size to get to the right size. So for example, here I removed this one from a standard SIM. Now this is another SIM size. Um, I need to get smaller, so I'm just like popping it out right here. And once I pop this out, now this is more in line with what I need for the Pixel. So here I have my, my Pixel uh, SIM holder. I'm just gonna go ahead and align this in place. And then once I have it aligned in place, I'm gonna insert it in the phone. Now there is an app that you have to install. There is an app that you install. And once you install that app, it's, pretty, it's a pretty simple app. It is, uh, again, uh, the visible app. And it's gonna give you information about your phone number. So I knew what my phone number was before getting my SIM card. It will allow you to track, it will allow you to activate, all that stuff is part of the app. So let me go ahead and put the SIM card in and see how it works. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is run a speed test. Let's go ahead and hit go. You wanna see what kind of speeds we get. All right, that looks really good. 40 to 50 megabits. Okay, now let's see what the upload is. It's around the same speed. Now one of the things I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna test this throughout the city of Chicago to see what additional speeds I get, but at 40 megabits upload, 40 megabits download, I think that's pretty good, especially for the price. Now, there's no data caps, no data limits, so or speed limits, right? So one of the things that I'll be doing is I'll be testing this outside of my home. I have some travel I'm gonna be doing this week, and I will basically come back and conclude this video once I have a better sampling of speed tests. So that's our initial speed test, 49 down, 
44 up, at least in my home. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test it around the city to see what kind of performance we get. Uh, next week I plan on traveling, I'm gonna test it as well. So in the common area, I'm gonna put my experience and I'm gonna put my speed experience as I've been traveling. Now one thing that we're also gonna do is uh, see if we can enable our hotspot. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the hotspot button and see if I get any error messages. And you notice that the hotspot setting is there and everything works pretty good. I see no error messages, which means the hotspot setting works. Now, a week has passed since we started the video, and I wanted to share with you what my experience has been when using the Visible Plan as I've traveled from at least uh, three states. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a speed test so I can show you where I'm at on a speed test. We're then gonna connect this iPad to the wireless hotspot to give you a sense what kind of speed you're gonna get, and we'll do a speed test from it. Now, to give you a sense of what I've done so far, so I've been using this for a week. I've been traveling to three states. I have also ran a hotspot on this for 24 hours streaming nonstop. So I'm gonna show you how much data I've consumed um, since then. And then I did spot tests, speed tests in various states. So we're gonna go ahead and do a speed test here. And one of the things that I'll mention is that in my experience, I'm getting anywhere from 40 to 50 megabits. And you'll see uh, what we're seeing here. It's pretty consistent in every state I've been in, also in uh, two to three different airports I was this week. So in here, you'll see that it, uh, it performed a little bit better, 63. But on average, I've been seeing 49 to 50. And uh, we'll bring up the history in a second so you can see once this complete. So here you see the type of performance that we're getting, 63, 31 upload. And if you're concerned about you know, what type of usage you can have, you can see here that it's gonna be excellent for emailing, excellent for browsing. Yeah, you can do some gaming. It's not five out of five, it's four out of five. And then you can see the streaming is, is fine and also video chatting. So if we look at the history, you notice here, uh, my history has been pretty consistent. So um, all the way down here, and you'll notice the dates uh, are pretty far out. So this was on uh, early in the week. And as we continue to move upwards, you're seeing that it's anywhere from 40, uh, 87 was the highest that I had. Um, I've seen 30s, uh, 50s, 40s, 25s, 40s. Uh, so again, this is the kind of experience that I've been getting from a speed test. Now from a hotspot perspective, what we're gonna do is, you'll notice that I do have my hotspot on, and I'm going to go ahead and do a speed test. This iPad is connected to it, so what we're gonna do is hit go, and we're gonna see what kind of speed we're gonna be getting out of it. All right, so 33 download and 15 up. And we'll go ahead and run this test one more time. Now let me tell you my use. So I've been using it for email, I've been using it for Skype, I've been using this for WebEx, I've been using this for BlueJeans, uh, Zoom, and it's worked fine. And I'm talking about both voice and video going at the same time. And I've also been streaming Hulu, Netflix, and also uh, YouTube TV, and I've had no issues with it either, at least you know, keeping up and also having the highest possible resolution available with each. Uh, the one that I did not get a chance to test is um, Amazon, uh, their Prime service. Um, you can see here that it's uh, going a little bit slower, but it looks like it's gonna pick up again. And the speed is gonna vary. This is no different than any other solution. It's gonna vary based on where you live. But again, because it's running on Verizon's network, you should have more reliability and consistency and speed. So you can see, you know, just uh, testing this out here, you can see that the carrier is Verizon, and then you could see uh, what's going on here as far as uh, where it's being tested. So definitely decent speed, and the value of this plan is, again, all the fixed price. Fixed price, no speed caps, no data limits, and again, all of this for $40. Now, since getting the plan, I've been uh, doing that 24-hour binge of streaming. I've been using this as a hotspot. I've been listening to YouTube music. I've been listening to Spotify. I've been watching uh, YouTube TV on my phone, and I've been able to get 24.4 gig of data use. No issues, no latency, no, um, I would say, throttling that I've experienced. And it's been in a very, very short period of time. So again, excessive use, just putting this through the paces. And so far, it works pretty well. So guys, that concludes our initial review of the Visible Network. Again, $40, unlimited data, no data caps, no speed caps, included hotspot with no speed caps or limits, 
all for $40 running on the Verizon network. Let me know what you thought about this video. I'm going to include a link to the visible site in the common area. So if you're looking for an affordable plan on a great network, you'll want to check this one out. Thanks for watching.